Okay, and all Soul Bro uh, insoles are available on my website at www.jeremymarin.com. Head over there if you want some. I'm actually, for the, for the launch of this video right now, I am gonna do a sale on, I'm gonna take five bucks off the uh, Soul Bro. So if anyone is interested in getting some, get some in the next 24 hours. There's right now Fusion Pro Scooters Pro Team, and it's celebrating. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I hope you're all doing well, dude. Before this video gets started, smash the thumbs up button. Uh, I just want to know, guys, question of the day, dude, is for the Melburnians, what are you going to be doing over the six next blah, 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 over the next six weeks? And for the non-Melburnians, what are you going to be doing over the next six weeks? <laughs> uh, I'm guessing the people that aren't in Melbourne are going to be shredding skate parks and having a great time while the people in Melbourne are knuckling down staying inside uh to get rid of this uh COVID-19 because i've had enough so everybody stay inside do your bit and let's get rid of this crap so we can move on and do what we're gonna do but anyway today guys today before we, if you haven't smashed the thumbs up button do it right now but today we're gonna be reviewing the soul bro by game protection we're gonna be having a little look at it with some writing clips i want to give you some examples of how to use these bad boys um but yeah let's get into it <laughs> Talking about the sole bros. Now, these are what these essentially are is they're an insole for your shoe, okay? They're an insole for your shoe. They're an ultra thin insole, the ultra thin insole for your shoe. So they're not too like they're not too bulky when you slide them into your shoes. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like to slide them into your shoes. But what are they for? Why do you need the sole bro? Why why should you even bother listening to what I have to say? Okay, so what these essentially do is they help with heel bruise. Now, as scooter riders, Heel bruise is one of the most common injuries, right? It's an annoying injury, it sucks, we've all had it, we've all gone through heel bruise. Now, these minimize the heel bruise. Um, not wearing insoles compared to wearing insoles, there's gonna be a big difference. Now, I'm gonna chuck some clips on the screen soon of how these, like, ins I wanna, what I wanna do is show some certain scenarios on how these will stop you from getting heel bruise, okay? So I wanna show you guys some of the positions that you land in on your scooter when you get heel bruise. Okay, and how these are gonna stop them, all right? So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll into a little promo video that Game Protection made um, showing you how the shock absorbent works, okay? So you're gonna see exactly how the, it says 90% shock absorbent in here, so you're gonna see exactly how the 90% shock absorbent actually works, um, and you'll take note of that video. Then we'll go outside and we'll have a look at how these slide into the shoes and uh, what positions you actually land in and how these help, okay? So that should really, really help you get an understanding of why these are such a good product and how they help and what circumstances they actually help in. Okay, so the key features of the Soul Bro insoles are as follows. I said before, they're a really slim fit. Like you can see, I'm gonna take one out of the box. I'm gonna show you. So what I meant by slim fit is like, look how thin they are, right? So the materials used in the shock absorbing foam used in this is that high quality that you're able to get this, the insole really, really thin, which means when sliding it into your shoe, it's not bulky and it doesn't raise the heel too much, which could be quite annoying. So to anyone else out there that actually wears insoles or any sort of insoles, you'll know that they put a bunch of cushioning in there that raises the heel a little bit and it's kind of annoying. Now this has got a little thing here a little bit of a heel raise, it's not even like a couple of millimeters, seriously, just to support your heels. But overall, these will fit in sh uh, these will fit in all shoes, and they're comfortable, and you don't even know that they're there. The key feature is obviously the extreme 90% uh, shock absorbing abilities. Now you'll see that in the uh, Game Protection promo video, you'll see exactly how that works, um, but that's awesome. So like, like you'll see in the video, a ball will hit a normal insole and bounce off. It'll just rebound straight off. 
Whereas when it hits the game protection insult, it soaks it all up and absorbs all of the shock and impact. The last thing guys is obviously they're just super comfortable to wear. Like, like I said, they're not uncomfortable. They don't, they're not bulky. They're just super, super slim fitted and comfortable. So those two things go hand in hand. So if you're worried about these feeling a little bit weird in your shoes, they won't. They feel completely normal. Um, I run them every day and they're amazing and they've helped me a lot. So yeah, they're, they're super comfortable guys. <laughs> So we're outside right now. You just see me put the insoles in my shoe. You see, nice and easy, they slide straight in. Beautiful. Um, obviously these are really, really bulky shoes right here, but they fit in any shoes. I suggest to wear the insoles with uh, something like Vans or, you know, some of you guys really wear like thin shoes. Um, so if you wear shoes with a, a raised heel, this is going to raise the heel a little bit more, but they're still super, super comfortable because they're ultra thin. So I'm gonna chuck my shoes on, and then I'm gonna give you guys some examples of how you're gonna land when you get heel bruised. Most of you guys would know how you land when you get heel bruised. I wanna show you all the positions that these insoles help in. Now there's a few ways that you land when you get heel bruised. This could also, this could also be a tutorial on how to try not to land, but some of these things are inevitable when learning new tricks. Heel bruises like, it's one of those things that you're gonna get when you're learning a key few tricks or just landing wrong all the time. So it's something that you really can't avoid. So that's why I suggest the Soul Bros guys. Like it's something that you really wanna try and minimize because it can be a pain in the butt down the road. Um, heel bruise can last for up to six weeks, even months. Like it can last longer than a broken bone. So guys, and if you break your heel or do anything, you're done. So you wanna really look after your heels, all right guys? Okay, so why I'm doing up this shoelace, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna give a few examples, like I said, of how you're gonna land when you get heel bruised, and I'm gonna use the tail whip flat as an example, because I know a lot of you guys out there are trying to learn tail whip flats or anything like that, but this applies to anything. So like, this applies to, because I'm doing a tail whip, right? Oh, it's where your feet come off the deck. So this would actually apply, apply to bry flips, triple tail whips, finger whips, anything where your feet come off the deck. Um, and then of course with the, sorry car, of course when you're doing like bar spins and stuff, heel bruise is still applicable as well. You can still get it because you can take a foot off. But I'm gonna show you with the tail whip the couple of types of ways that I've seen people land and get heel bruise just from when I've coached the tail whip. Um, so this is what the insoles will help with. All right, first way a couple of people are gonna be land is like, this is what I call in my coaching, like the fairy foot, where you reach out with one foot like this where you tail whip, reach out with one foot like that, right? Now you'll end up getting heel bruise on the opposite leg. So I'll show you what it looks like. So you'll be coming up to do the tail whip and you're gonna go like that, yeah? So obviously heel bruise, oh my God, the damn truck. So obviously heel bruise is not the worst in that position. Like coming up and going like this, it's not gonna be the worst. Now, there's two places you get heel bruised by doing that. Like, it's called reaching when you're doing a tail whip. Like, you're, you're reaching out with one foot and it's like half committing. So, what, what is happening is you get heel bruised on this leg for stomping the ground so hard. Oh my God, there's trucks and buses everywhere today. This is a nightmare. Um, oh, wow, dude, that's like seven trucks in a row. I'm gonna lose it. Um, yeah, I need a microphone, sorry guys. Yeah, so you're gonna get uh, heel bruise on this foot, so the opposite foot, and then also when you're reaching too much as well, guys, you're gonna get heel bruise from having your toes over the deck and underneath here, so when you go and land like that. Okay, so that's number one. That's what they're, so they're, if you're landing like that with your tricks, even with a finger whip, watch your finger whip out like that. If you find yourself landing like uh, that with tricks, the Soul Bros will help you, okay? 100% they will help you out. Um, okay, the next one is the commitment stage of a trick. Uh, we'll do the, we'll the non-commitment stage and it's kind of like you're almost committing, but your feet go beside the deck. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like as well. And you go like that, two feet. It's like you're scared to snap your feet together, so you land 
two feet on the concrete like this. Now, of course, this is gonna shock your heels. This is gonna shock your heels a lot. Uh, the Soul Bros will help with this too. So if you have this problem as well, which everyone does because, you know, it's phases of committing to a trick that this causes this. So you will have this problem as well. So if you're doing that a lot, that's gonna cause heel bruise as well. So if you are landing like that a lot, if you find yourself committing to the trick, but throughout the deck, like open up your legs, I suggest to go like this as a quick tip. Go and soak it up with your quads, calves, and hamstrings, all in the glutes, so you'll like land in a squat position. Now that'll soak up some of the heel bruise as well, as long with the insoles. Okay, now the third, the third position that you're gonna land in, and this is like the most common. Now this is where people are going for the full commit, um, the full commit. So this is what, this is how you'll land. Like that, feet together, force fully into the ground, uh, and that's where maximum heel bruise occurs. Some heel bruise always happens when you fully commit. Now there's obviously different stages of commitment, like that's the first stage, so you'll go and you'll jump towards the deck. Now the worst one that I've had is when I commit and my feet just get on the deck. So I'm gonna give you an example of that. And this guys, you'll know, is when you get maximum heel bruise and the soul bros do help with this. So committing. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, I, I, I tried to fake commit, but I landed it and boo shoot it. Like that. That position right there. So toes, toes over the scooter and then heels smashing the concrete. That, so this position right here, I'm gonna zoom in on it guys, is where maximum heel bruise occurs. The reason that this happens is because, like it's common sense really, I know I'm just explaining like common sense here, but obviously your toes are on the scooter deck. Your cut, like, so your calves are tight through here and the only thing copying the pressure guys is your heels. Now, if you're landing like this a lot, if you're landing like this a lot, I definitely suggest getting the um, Soul Bros because that's where massive damage can occur to your heels. That's where most people get huge, huge amounts of heel bruise. I've had friends that have had heel bruise for months. Um, and it's because you commit to a trick, obviously, toes landing on the deck and your heels landing on the ground, taking all the force. And because you're focused on committing, you're not in that squat position. So you end up landing like this straight legged and you can't, when you're like this guys, you can't bend your knees. You can't sit down. So. That's why it ends up taking all the force. All the force takes into your heels, your Achilles tendon, straight up to your calf, and it is, it is terrible. Um, so if you can do something to reduce that by getting a product that will help reduce the uh, impact by up to 90%, I suggest you do so. Now, this is like, obviously this is an advertisement, but it's a valuable advertisement because um, these things work guys, they work, uh, and they, they really help, and I just wanna help keep people safe, that's why I'm sponsored by a protective gear company, that's why I do what I do, and I wear the Soul Bros as well, uh, cause damn, I hate getting heel bruises. all right, so it sucks. Okay, and all Soul Bro uh, insoles are available on my website at www.jeremymarin.com. Head over there if you want some. I'm actually, for the, for the launch of this video right now, I am gonna do a sale on, I'm gonna take five bucks off the uh, Soul Bro, so if anyone is interested in getting some get some in the next 24 hours there's a sale on there if you want some i'm actually for the release for the launch of this video right now i am gonna do a sale on i'm gonna take five bucks off the uh soul bro so if anyone is interested in getting some get some in the next 24 hours there's a sale on so uh, i'll take off five bucks and yeah so you'll get a deal 24 hours if you do need them and you think that they'll be valuable to you go grab some go to my website see you guys soon